Intel, uh, uh, of course, I think is, is, is doing the right thing here. It's painful to do it. And uh, uh, it, Jim Stewart, on your air a little earlier today, Jim Stewart of the New York Times, suggested that this was somehow a consequence uh, of the Me Too movement. I, I don't believe it's uh, related to that remotely. Uh, he said because it was consensual. Well, we could go through a dozen high, very high-profile consensual relationships where it violated company policy, and they would they fi had to find somebody with the uh, in, in integrity and the character to stand behind this. That this had been concealed from the board for a while, and uh, that this was uh, the rules that start at the top have to cascade down the line. Now they do need somebody. I, you know, I think uh, I think Brian Christian, he was a, otherwise an honorable guy, well respected. We had the disappointments this fall, as you talked about. It looked like they were recovering. Uh, he had the wherewithal to put together a joint deal, a historic one with with AMD, which was uh, pretty exciting to see what they were going to do, uh, working together on the notebook side. But Nvidia, of course, was uh, is running circles around them on on AI and their graphics card. And this is something they've had to understand how to how to master this space better. So I think there's a a different kind of engineering horsepower. But the, they've had a fabulous line of internal succession in here throughout. Bill, is this um, something that's a product of our uh, shifting culture today around how leaders need to act and treat employees? Or, or is this more, um, hey, just standard procedure? This is something that even five years ago would have caused a CEO ouster. Absolutely. It did for uh, Mark Hurd at uh, HP. And I think it's a tragedy for uh, both Intel and Brian Kranich. I think Brian was doing a very good job, like Jeff said. Particularly, he really seems to be coming into his own the last year. Uh, he's been courageous in speaking out against the Muslim ban, speaking out against Charlottesville, but more importantly, stocks up 53% in the last year, and I think he has them on a roll. Yeah, there's always technical problems in a high tech company. I ran one. Uh, I think the real issues here is who's going to succeed him because they've always gone inside. You had, after the great triumvirate of, of Grow. And uh, Noyce and more, uh, you had uh, you had Craig Barrett, then you had Paul Adelini, and so Brian's only the third since the founders. And uh, I hope they'll go inside. But the implication from the statement was that they're going to form a search committee to look outside. They need somebody with a high tech background. They should have had that person ready to go. It's nice that Bob Swan can step in as a CFO, but that's clearly an interim move, uh, as is Andy Bryant as chair. And so I think they need a high tech. Uh, strongly uh, technical CEO to come in and keep them on the track they're on now. There's so many opportunities and their shift away from PC somewhat parallels what Satya Nadella has done at Microsoft. So I think it's a very good move the way they're going strategically. I think it'll stay the course. I'm a little surprised they announced a 16 percent increase in their earnings guidance and the stock falls 2 percent. So the market obviously liked what Cranch is doing. So I think they have to stay on that course and hopefully they can find someone inside to lead them uh, on the direction they're going now. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.